and welcome. It is the latest edition of Chalk Talk here on hsn.com. I'm glad you can join us. This is really a very unique show because we take a very different look at the NFL and the football teams. And it's through the fans' perspective and basically a female perspective from coaches, players, wives, and the fans. And that's what the show is all about. So it gets interesting and it's really fun and you got to stay with us. So I'm so excited because the man, actually the genius behind this, is one of my favorite guys in the whole wide world. Of course, Giants great and president of G3, Carl Banks. Hello, Carl. Hello, my dear. Hi, baby, how are you? Good, good. Good, good. And we have great, great guests joining us as well, because I think this really what makes this show super special. First off, we love it because we have the incredible Marjanique here, Alexander. She is the Ooh, wife of that. linebacker Lorenzo Alexander. Welcome. Hi. Good to Thank see you. you always. And then we have Marie Free Wright, TV personality, host BET 106 <laughs> and Park, and also a big Patriots fan. There you go. Oh, go Pats. <laughs> and then Michelle Yessie's joining us. She is a Miami Dolphin fan Ooh. fanatic. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Good to have you here. Thank you. All right, we got a lot to jump into. First and foremost, Carl, what would you like to ask first of this illustrious crowd? Well, um, because this show is all about fandom and the passions that run behind sports, I want everyone to, if they had to describe themselves as a fan, what type of fan are you? Oh, I am loyal, and um, I'm just, I'm a big cheerleader. cheerleader. So I make signs for my husband. Um, we'll have like balloons waiting for him sometimes. Um, so I'm, I'm a big cheerleader. I am loyal and emotional. I get really upset when it goes bad, really happy when it goes well. And like, what is, what is sad? in the, the eyes of a Patriot fan that exactly. wins so much. Sad what exactly does sad look like? <laughs> I'd like to see that, please. Sad Maybe is too. when someone gets injured. Sad is that we, you know, lost, you know, last week. Two games sad. a year or something? Yeah, you know, and just the, uh, the tension can you make me. Sad is you don't have enough uh, T-shirts that say Super Bowl wins. Is that sad? Like, that, you know, that could, it could mm. be. It's I'm running out of closet space. <laughs> People get hurt all the time, and that's when I get sad. Oh, well, you know what they try. Okay, all. that's true. A patriot can be sad, Mr. Banks. Okay, and you're a Dolphin fan. <laughs> okay. And I am a Dolphin fan. I know you're... Just talk about your fandom. What, what is... What is what type of fan are you? I thought I was answering her question. Now you're asking me another question on what top of What type of fan are you? I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I oh, can't no. claim it out of the way. We are depressed, and okay. we're hoping, we're hopeful every year, and then we get depressed by game three. So, full disclosure, yes. Michelle and I work together. She's our design director mm -hmm. for and all of our And you do a fabulous job, by Thank the way. Thank you. Love and it. because we work together, I can give you guys some insight on what SAT <laughs> looks like for her okay. on a Monday morning. So, Michelle loves sports talk radio. And so she has her computer set to all of the um, oh, Miami okay. Dolphin stations. So whatever their flagship is, <laughs> she's tuned in from the minute she hits her desk. But on a Monday, I try to keep the troops up. So I go by everyone's desk and say hello. And by the time I get to her office, it's like this. Oh, oh no. Michelle, what's it's wrong? True. It's true. Michelle, what's wrong? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> they lost again. It's true. She's very passionate about yeah. the Dolphins. But when they win, she's very excited. But when they're they're bad, she wears it on her sleeve. And that's, that's true passion when, mm -hmm. you're, when you go for your team for years and they're not, do, you know, they're not doing well. That, that's true passion. Well, speaking of rivalries, <laughs> let's talk about the AFC years. because we're representing the East yes. here. We have the we East are, here. We so are. I have a question too. Do you think rivalry, rival, rivalries are made up or do you really feel they're important and, and, and that people really have them? Because sometimes, like I know we do, but sometimes yeah, I think that it is totally personal. Yeah. Um, what do you think about that? Do you like that rivalry feeling? I like it. It makes some games more exciting than others, and you look forward to, to beating down your, your enemies, yeah. you know. 16 to 0. Did you see that? 16 to 0. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh, oh she, she, went went <laughs> she went there. I went there. She went there. Yeah, oh, rival rival rivalries are good. They just they added another element to What do you think? 16 games. Um, I love rivalries because we're always the one that they want to, you know, come get. So we're not, you know, we're not really afraid. Who's your biggest rival? We hate the Giants. Oh, how is that? I hate the Giants. I'm playing with you. Is it because of our because colors? Because of the 18 -0. Um, Is it because of the colors are similar? Our blue is better than your blue? Or no, your what blue is it? not better than our blue. Look at it. Do yeah. you look at that? Yeah, I like my blue. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
What do you think? Who's your biggest rival with the Dolphins? The Jets, for sure, the Jets. And I mean, it is, I live in New York City now, obviously, and it is very difficult to get on a train when, and, and true enough, in the past, I've been here, I've been in New York for eight years, and we have beat them seven out of the eight times I've gone. Mm -hmm. This past year, they, they got us, but um, it is difficult on the way there because the Jets fans trash talk. And, I mean, just like yeah. your fans, they mm -hmm. are, I'm telling you, they are right there with the Eagles fans. I mean, mm -hmm. just yeah. balls Relentless. out. And my, my brother sometimes comes with me, he goes, you're going to wear head-to-toe dolphins? <laughs> yeah. He's like, you're going to get me in a fight. My brother will yeah. wear all black. Right. Right. He's super neutral. He's neutral. neutral. No team here. Right. Yeah, I, right. That's why you see the Eagles games. You know, I, I always feel bad for the fans from the opposing team because they just sit there really quietly. They know. And like they, you know, you know, you, they, the other team will score, and you'll see them. They'll, you'll see that they want to go like right. this, and they go, like, oh no, 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 don't do anything, don't do anything. Off, yeah? I like stuff. So, <laughs> this place fans, like, mm -hmm. uh, it's just, there's either Dolphin fans living in New York. Mm -hmm. Or Jets fans, Jets living, fans in living in Miami. Is there a sense, like for a Miami Dolphin fan, is there a sense of inf infiltration? Oh, there, oh, there is. Yeah, it's, there's I mean, always... maybe not in, their, in some of their stadiums, but there are a lot of New Yorkers in all of Florida to begin with. So, I mean, it is almost embarrassing for us as Dolphins fans to sit in Dolphin Stadium and we can hear that as soon as the Jets score, we it's like, I'm, I feel like I'm in the Jets. I'm in, wow. you know, in MetLife. Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Because there's a huge population yeah. in Florida yeah. from all over. Yeah, yeah. And it's always funny. Here's them. what they do. Does it happen to your team? Is they'll come out in a Miami Dolphin T-shirt until their team arrives, and then, <laughs> and then all of a sudden they're in their home team. <laughs> yeah, they put their home team on. It's yeah. like really, that's right. terrible. Hey, by the way, we'd love you to check out HSN.com. Not only do we have great products from G3, um, just wonderful designs, but we have a lot of items we don't get a chance to get to on the air. So. So all you have to do is go in, you literally click your team's helmet, and it will show you a whole, whole just wealth of great products that you can enjoy, show off your favorite team spirit, you can buy his great gift ideas, so be sure to check it out, because I think this year more than any, wouldn't you agree, Carl, we probably have the most innovative collection, including my favorite, well, not this mug exactly, if it was an Eagles mug, <laughs> one of my favorite tumblers we've ever done. I love this stuff on, on, online, it looks great. Isn't it great? Yeah, yeah, so it much to pick for. As a, yeah. as Female fans, right? How far has the apparel come from when we first knew it? Like, is it, do you think it's come where it should be? Does it speak the language that you as female fans understand? Or do you think there's more that can be done to bring the, the female fan in and, and embrace their fandom? I think it's coming. Um, slowly, like we we wouldn't have shirts like that. We used to just have to wear the guys' jerseys right. and try to make it cute and put cut, to it up. cut it up, tie <laughs> it up in the back. Yeah. But now someone has finally realized that women are watching sports, and so yeah, we we I love it. I think it's coming around. And you've probably seen I mean, a, a lot of changes over the years. Oh yeah, I yeah. have like I don't know six Redskins jerseys because nice. I would try and wear different ones, and and now I have the option of buying you know, sweatshirts and t-shirts mm -hmm. and long sleeve shirts and short sleeve mm -hmm. shirts and jersey lookalikes. I mean, right. when I thought, a lot more options. And I yeah. thought it was interesting when the NFL first came out with the stuff for women, mm -hmm. I literally, it was like, who are you making this for? Yeah. It was like yeah. the littlest women on yeah. the face of the earth, oh. which you couldn't, you know, I couldn't even right. squeeze it in over my they thigh. Cheerleader was, clothes. It was totally yeah. cheerleader right. clothes. Right. And right. I love it because you guys really are responsible for pushing that envelope of realizing we all come in lots of shapes and sizes mm -hmm. and are big mm -hmm. fans. Mm -hmm. So I love it and thank you guys for doing that. Well, and, and I'll say this much, HSN has helped educate us on what a real female actually, what, what that size scale looks like. Mm -hmm. Because if we look in magazines and we see, okay, we're gonna design for this look. But then we sit with the folks at HSN and it says, well, here's the average size of the American woman. It goes from here to here. And this is where the bulk of your business is gonna be. This is where the bulk of our customers are. And I think we've uh, been able to really talk to a larger um, audience by way of having product that works, mm. that fits, that when you put it on, and Michelle maybe can talk about it more because she directs our design, but we want women to feel great about the product, not get in it just because it's the only thing that was there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. Well, I, I, I would defer to them. I mean, I'm. We, I work with the team and we, we design all the time, but it's nice to hear from them 
who, you know, they're, they're kind of giving us the accolades, saying that this is something that we want to wear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we try our best all the time. I mean, that's all we can do, and it's good to hear from them that, that we're doing our best. Yeah. So And women feel left out, you know, we for a long time. Like, we really wore those jerseys as many ways right. as right. we could. I used to cut the sleeves and try to decorate I would make it a dress. Oh. It would yeah. just <laughs> fringe the bottom. Well, you yeah. the same thing, too. Even with your kids' yeah. apparel, she was showing me pictures last night Cutting of what, what and... she's done at yeah. home as well. Yeah. yeah. So it's nice to have yeah. options. <laughs> like hot glue and ribbons. Hot glue and, and yeah. my daughter yeah. sews, so she's... Sewed her dad's number on her yeah, on a blue sure dress. Right. And sure oh, be see, like yeah, yeah. I'm sure um, they'll have like okay, pencil skirts. So I have an interesting question for everybody too, but you can't answer this I one. Will I'm not. sorry, because uh -oh. obviously you're have play. <laughs> uh, if you could be any position on a team, what position would you be? What do you see yourself as? If I was a football player, mm -hmm. I would probably want to be a kicker. <laughs> Why? I feel like they don't get tackled and injured as much. <laughs> Sorry, answer. I'm a weenie that's like that. That's, that's what I would want to be. That's okay. a good answer. That's a great answer. What would you want to be? Come on, what's your real? Bring the personality out. We'll see. <laughs> I want to fight, tackle, tackle defensive, defensive right. end. Yeah, I want to fight. Good. Yeah. Okay, good. Push back. Yeah. Uh, me, I've always thought I could be the quarterback. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It is. And what do you Let's think? What arm. would you be? Yeah, I do. I got a pretty big arm. <laughs> arm, yay. We'll talk about this later. Um, what position would you be? I think he could even answer this for me because we have a running joke. Okay, wait a minute. Tr answer. See, see if he, he knows. He knows what I would say. All she do is catch touchdowns, bro. So um, I'm a wide receiver, yeah, because I tell him that all okay. the time in the office. He's like, come on, you got to bring your A game. I'm like, all I do is catch yeah. touchdowns. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Did you have any other position you ever wanted to play? I've tried like, a lot. But what one, have you, what one did you, like, oh, man, I really... Tight end. Really? Tight end. Okay. I thought I would, because I was a pretty good basketball player, and when I went to college, it was kind of, we don't know if he's going to be a tight end or a linebacker. So they had these drills, right? where they send you out, you catch the ball, and if you're in the tight end line, you catch it and you run towards the goal line. If you're a linebacker, you catch it and run back and hand it to the coach, right? <laughs> so guess what I kept doing? <laughs> I kept catching it and bringing it back to the coach. It's like, he's a linebacker. <laughs> That's it, so, okay. Yeah. All right, I have another question for you too. How do you handle the media as a fan or you know, as a wife? Because when mm. they're starting to slam the team or the coaches or whatever, how do you, how do you kind of handle it? And how do, uh, in your case, your husband handle it as well? I, I get right in front of the TV and yell back at them. You're talking about the people, yeah, yeah. they're crazy. The things that they say, yeah, I fight with the TV, with the radio, whatever it is. All the time, yeah, 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 yeah. all the time. How do you handle it? Um, I mean, a few times I've seen disparaging comments about, about my husband, but, um, it's coming. It's from a fan's perspective, and they don't know like the grind day in and day out. And yes, they make mistakes sometimes. Yes, they drop balls. Um, they're human, so um, I, I just, I just ignore it. How does he <laughs> handle it? Do you know? Same, same thing. Just, yeah, he knows how know. hard he works. He knows that that um, he's dedicated and that he tries his best every time. So, mm. um, but but he's bound to make some mistakes. Sure. Yeah. Is I, it? I just want to build on that. Is it harder to be a you, it, you have to be a different type of fan, meaning a, a um, player's wife, because number one, you've had him play for, a few, he's played for mm -hmm. a few different teams, but do you cheer differently? Like, is it business and personal, or is it like, okay, we're Buffalo Bills, and I, my heart is with the Bills as long as you're here, but how, how do you kind of calibrate that? Um, I'm, a, I'm a cheerleader for him, First, so and right. so it depends on what team he's on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm I'm all for the Buffalo Bills now, but to be honest, I didn't know a lot about them before we got to Buffalo. Um, but yeah, like I, I still cheer for my old teams too because they're you know we were part of that family for a certain amount of time mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and the relationships that we've built with those teams. We still have some players or coaches on those teams, so it's hard to say you know I want them to go down because mm -hmm. you know deep down we, we want them to do well, just not against us. Gotcha. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. How did you handle it if you got bad press? Um, that's probably ignored it. Would you read it? Well, it's, well, it was a lot easier to ignore it when I played than it is now. True. Yeah. Yeah. But I, you hear it, and you either ignore it. If it's something bad and you want to address it, there was a time where you could actually have a conversation with a journalist, <laughs> and actually you could huh. get heated, and it wouldn't be talked about mm -hmm. as if someone mm -hmm. assaulted mm -hmm. uh, the other. But now it's just kind of like you got to let it go and hope that your turn comes around to do what Kirk Cousins did. 
when they, they want. He says, you like that? You like that? <laughs> <laughs> so now you're sitting at the table full of women. When you're watching football, well, I know you're working, Jen, but if you're watching stuff back with women, do women annoy you while you're watching football, or do you encourage us? Do you You know, us? the interesting thing about this, I found that women, through experience, are very knowledgeable mm -hmm. about their sports. Uh, they don't, and, and I don't know if it's a conscious effort mm -hmm. by women not to ask a silly mm -hmm. question, <laughs> but more, the question is more like, okay, Explain what just happened there, mm -hmm. more so than what's going on, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, but, and also I've found that women are probably the best at fantasy football for whatever reason. Yeah, they, um, they win more. Why yeah, is well, this? I, I, maybe you guys are just smarter. I think we're maybe more we organized. like football and we like more watching organized those guys. Yeah, or whatever. More organized. But I, I think watching, watching a game with women is no different Okay. than watching with men. I think the emotion still runs high, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the emotion is versus, it's about the good play or the bad play, but it's not like I'm frustrated, I don't know what's going on. Right. Okay. Right. But I think mm -hmm. fantasy sports has helped women Definitely. Sure. understand right. sports Or be too. more engaged, just because yeah. you have to pick, team, pick people from different teams, yeah. right. Right. so you can't just be a puller. I mean, she can't just be a Patriots fan in, in fantasy, you have to be a fan of Everything. players, and you, you have, have to, to learn yeah. because you have to learn it. You have to learn. You have to learn stats. You have to learn schedules. You have to learn matchups. So it's it makes you more knowledgeable inherently. Yeah. It definitely de gets you much more into the game. Oh, too. for sure. And I also think too, um, with the rise of popularity of women being recognized by the NFL as an important part of the fan base, um, that I think. And you probably have seen it just in your sales. Um, mm -hmm. The interest has grown dramatically. For sure. You know, it's not just oh, it's a guy thing anymore. Mm -hmm. And I think that's engaged so many more women in yes. the sport. Well, I think it, it was never a guy thing because when, but but we've chosen to ignore gotcha. mm -hmm. the female fan from every phase of it. Like who's doing tailgating? The women have always been <laughs> like the captain of the tailgate, right? <laughs> right, right. Um, who's the biggest cheerleader? It's always, always yeah. the wife of the player or the fan. I mean, female fans have been there. I think they've been ignored in a lot of ways that they contribute. So mm -hmm. right. when we were shrinking it and pinking it for a jersey, okay. you know, let's give them a light blue or give them a pink one and that'll be it, where the diversity of, of women in sports is just so much so much more than what people thought it was. Yeah. Right, right, or right. gave them credit for it anyway. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we're gonna ask one more question too. Um, let's just talk about your game, to, ga game, game day traditions. I'll get that out. So I wanna start with you, Michelle, because you haven't heard about that. So talk about what you do on game day. I like to be alone, because it's gonna be a bad sit I already anticipate what's wow. about to happen. Oh no. I know oh, I'm no. negative Nelly. I will be the first one to admit. Oh. So I tend to uh, no one wants to watch a game with me. Even my family's like, you're on your own. Oh. So yeah, That's I stay it. by it myself and I I just order pizza or whatever. I have I pretty much just drink beer, and that's. I'm gonna think about you this Sunday. Oh, I thanks. want you to know yeah. that. The Patriots. They're, always, <laughs> they're very nice people when it's when they're not oh, on the man, losing end. That is so mean. Mm -hmm. Oh man. I, that was so genuine. I didn't mean it. Okay, so what's your game day tradition? Um, uh, just uh, relaxing, cleaning up the house, um, and making sure that. I'm done everything I have to do before the game comes on. Uh, if it's a night game, we make sure there's some libations, you know? Of course. I mean, it's a day game, you know, we just chill and relax. I just like to relax and not uh, be bothered. But if it's if it's group and a bunch of people, it's fun, but I always have to be like, shut up, you know? Like, so <laughs> that's a little annoying. I like to focus on the game. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And yours? Um, if we're home, if, it, if it's not a, a home game, then just me and the kids. Sometimes I'll have people over, but I prefer not to because then I'm playing hostess and not getting to watch the game and, and listen. Um, but yeah, make some food, order some pizza. We always put on, you know, our gear, our Bills gear. And let me just ask you saying, no what, okay. yep. And it's a little personal, but have you ever seen your husband get hurt and you're at home? and you don't know what's going on and you can't do anything about it, what's that experience like? Yeah, I was at a, a, fr a girlfriend's house. Her husband was a kicker on a different team, and mm. so we had two TVs up and her family over, and uh, we're, I was watching my husband, um, and he, yeah, he went down. Um, within about five minutes, I had a call from the trainer. Um, oh, so they were and, super and, and, and they oh, him on the quickly. phone, okay. and he said, I'm, I'm done for the season. Oh, so, oh man. Yeah, so luckily I was with 
people that you know help lift us up support. and so wow but that's yeah. a tough that's a tough call yeah wow and you expected it to get the call fast now i mean you that i hope i happens. never have to get a call ever again sure, sure. <laughs> yeah that's but at I'll... least now i know how it works now right yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah i didn't yeah. know what was happening that's so. surprising yeah what they what did happened to like if, if you got hurt in the field back in kind of the day did well, they just, um, your family go, well, I hope he's all right. Yeah, yeah they pretty I mean, much. Back in the day, like, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. it was forever, yeah. yeah it's like, back in the horse and buggy day. I mean, he, but seriously, okay? it yeah. wasn't as they didn't communicate that quickly, did they? No, not, not nearly as fast. As a matter of fact, um, when I was with the, no, I was working with the Jets when Pepper Johnson was playing, my best friend, and he tore his knee up. He tore his patella tendon. And so I was back in the locker room with him. He says, can you go find my mother, my sister, and see if you can get them down here in the locker room? Because it was just like the, the technology and communication was just not that rapid at that time. So right. he's sitting there for like an hour, and he's just, just waiting for someone to come and show up. And, oh, seriously? Yeah, wow. Yeah. So, That's great. Did you find him? Yeah, we got everybody. Oh, good. That's we got good. Everybody. All right, so now it's time for what we do, uh, and it's called rapid fire. So it's about 40 seconds, and I ask questions. They're going to answer very quickly. So here we go, guys. The first question is going to be the best place to watch a game in the stadium, the home stadium. In the stadium. Um, well, in, in your seats. I mean, in my, in, in my stadium, I mean, we have the oldest stadium, I think, and it's really not that good. I mean, I'm, I'm going to hear it from the Dolphins <laughs> fans, I'm sure, but, I mean, she we were hosting the Marlins at the, in the same stadium, so, I, I mean, the, there is a new one coming, I know, everybody's going to say, the new one's coming, it's, I get it, but, um, and, and the seats, of course, but. But it's I like mean, they're a special place. No. Okay. Area or anywhere. I mean, I'm I'm going to end up crying at the end of it anyway. So it's like, what, no, it doesn't doesn't really whatever, whatever we be seen has <laughs> tissue nearby. Okay. <laughs> What's the very best place in the stadium? Might not be your seats, but in the stadium. Um, I always would say 50 yard line. Oh. But I was at the game uh, we played against, I believe, the Rams in St. Louis. I hope I got that right. And when <laughs> Vinatieri did the kick, the uh, the kick at the Super Bowl in New Orleans, and I was right there. So at that point, I would say. Be behind gone. the field goal line, <laughs> awesome. especially when you're going to win behind it. So that was great. And favorite place to sit? I would say 50 yard line, like maybe 20 rows up. Yep. Uh, if you're too far down, like the cameras are, are in your way and you can't, you can't see what's going on. So that's I like it, to see it. the whole, okay. the whole field. And so there we go for our rapid fire. It wasn't exactly rapid, but we tried. Well, you didn't answer it. <laughs> Oh, my favorite place? Yeah. Uh, I'd be in a suite if I was invited. Exactly. <laughs> all right, there you go. Yeah, I like cold. all the food and the goodies and the seats, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but actually, we have great seats at the uh, at the link, and I wish I was there, but unfortunately, I don't get to see many games anymore. So don't worry, I'll go one day and sit we sit in your my seat. Chair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do have very good seats right there on the corner. They're lovely. All right, you. so definitely do a couple things. Number one, check out hsn.com. We'd love you to look at Pinterest as well and have fun with Pinterest, but here's our HSN site. There are wonderful products, great gift ideas, things to really root for your team, show off uh, your favorite team, and just enjoy it. There's a lot of products that we never even get to feature on the air. All you do is go and you click on the football helmet of your favorite team and everything related to it will show up. And if you're a displaced fan, we are your place to shop. Also, if you go to our Pinterest page where you can see recipes, we'd love you to post you in your G3 gear, if you will. So go to Pinterest and check that out as well. Well, ladies, and of course, Carl, thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you, you so ladies. Much. It's so fun. much fun. Yeah. All right, and be sure to check out all of our Chalk Talks on HSN.com. Thanks. I'm going to clear that once. We got one for